Your planetarium show at the Liberty Science Center in Jersey City is the perfect way to, sh to keep you inside and entertain on this cold day. And that's where we find Pix 11's Julie Millay. Good morning, Julie. How's it going? Now you're finally warm. You're all cold in Hoboken. Good and now morning, all lady. Nice yes. and warm. Yes, just down the road here in Jersey City. And I know you ladies were not planning to uh, go off site today, but that's too bad. I'm going to take you on a trip to outer space. We're inside the planetarium here at the Science Center talking about One World, One Sky. It's a trip to the moon with some very familiar friends. And joining me now to talk about it is Mike Shanahan, the director here at the planetarium. Let's go ahead and give the folks at home a quick taste of what you're looking at here. So tell us about the show. So this is a tour of the night sky with our most beloved characters from Sesame Street, Elmo and Big Bird. We explore the constellations, and then we go to the moon under their guidance. And you said this is one of the most popular shows here. People love this show. It's been running ever since we opened every our planetarium. Every day we're open, we run it at 135. Today also we have a 1050 morning show, it being a special holiday today. Yeah, so perfect for those kids that are home from school today, trying to stay inside from the cold. And one thing that I love about Sesame Street and this show is how timeless it is. And parents love it, too. Everyone loves it. The, the humor is great. It's pitched so that kids understand and enjoy it. But there's stuff for the older folks as well. So everyone comes away with a smile on their face when they go to this show. And it's one of the most popular exhibits here. Tell me what folks tell you they love about it when they're here. They love the fact that the education level is geared towards kids four, five, and six. It's not over their heads, and it doesn't play down to them either, which is wonderful. But it's, Sesame Street is like The Simpsons. There's something in it for everybody, right? So it's got great humor, great content. So everyone enjoys this program. Now, one thing folks might notice is a new character, because we got Big Bird, right? We got Elmo. And then who is our other friend here? So Hu Uju, who I believe is the most popular character on the Chinese version of Sesame Street, uh, comes to visit them and joins them on the trip to the moon as well. And what kind of things do we learn from him? We learn a little bit about how the skies in China are identical to the skies you'd see here. It's why it's called One World, One Sky. We share the stars together. We see the same moon. We see the same stars in both locations. And I see a lot of imagery here. Are we showing uh, the kids, you know, landscapes from China and things of that nature? Yes, a little bit about China, a little bit about uh, the constellations they see there, and, and a, the Chinese name for the Big Dipper, for example, which is Beidou, or North Dipper. And then uh, they go to the moon and uh, discover things about the moon they didn't know about, the low gravity, the fact that they have to wear these uh, headsets to protect them from the lack of air on the moon, for example. And are you expecting a lot of crowds here today because of the holiday? We do have lots of tickets left, but it is a very popular day. So if you want to come down and see us, I'd say get tickets now and join us either for the 1050 or for the 135 show. Excellent. And Mike, what is one thing you want people to know about coming here and what they'll, what they'll get out of this experience? First of all, there's so much to do here at Liberty Science Center. We have our Pixar exhibit. We have Wild Kratts for the kids. We have the giant train set on display. And here in the planetarium, we have something for everybody. We have this show for the young set. We have our James Webb show, brand new images from the James Webb Space Telescope. We have a black hole show. We have all kinds of, the variety here is phenomenal, both in the planetarium and also throughout. They, we even have a laser show at 420 featuring popular mu movie music. So something for everyone here, the parents and kids alike, and kids of all ages, it sounds like. It's totally one-stop shopping. There is so much to do here, especially on a holiday like this. Excellent. So we only have a, a little bit left, Mike. I just want you to tell the folks at home, if they do want to come today, what do they need to know? Uh, we're open from 10 to 5. We have planetarium shows every hour throughout the day. Again, the first Elmo show is at 10.50. We call it the Elmo show for One World, One Sky. And... Uh, and so go if you want to get on tickets online, it's lsd.org. Excellent. Or you can get them at the door. LSD.org. Hazel and Kala, how cool is this? I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. 